Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are talking sunscreen again. Um, summer's coming up, I live down in the Houston, Texas area, so finding the next sunscreen that's going to survive the humidity that we have down here um, is always the goal. Anyways, today we are talking Dr. Brandt Liquid Sun Shield SPF 50. I'm very excited for this because it is a serum, and serums typically mean lightweight. Um, and I am ready for it because if you're really putting on your sunscreen correctly, it can be a lot. Uh, so it comes in this little pretty box, no big deal. Um, but this, I think is, is so cute. You know, let, let's be honest, aesthetics, <laughs> they're everything sometimes. Um, so yeah, it's a really cute little serum uh, container. Let me go ahead and get this thing opened up. It's glass, yeah, it's a glass, and it's 1.7 uh, ounces. This cost me, I believe, $30. Usually I wipe off my stuff, uh, you know, give it a soap and wipe before putting it or touching it on my face because germs, hello. And I actually brought my quarter teaspoon because that's how much you're supposed to put on your face. A quarter teaspoon of sunscreen in order to cover your face. And I believe it's a little bit less for something else. Sorry, one of my children just walked in, so I was shooing him. So since we're looking at kind of the little syringy thing or whatever you want to call it. It's a dropper? Like an eyedropper. I can say how many times to pump it up to pump it up. How many it's gonna take? Three little suck a of that. And so now I'll know in the future that three of them should equal a quarter of a teaspoon of sunscreen. So it's a lot, but that's fine. I mean, because if it works, it works. It is what it is. Okay. Automatically, first of all, the scent. Um, it's light and florally, not too strong, which uh, scents don't bother me, so I wouldn't care about that as long as it doesn't smell like grandma -y. Sorry. Sorry, grandma. <laughs> I don't want to smell like you. <laughs> Anyways, um, offhand, it does feel like a serum, more probably oil-based serum than I would say water. Uh, and it's a mineral sunscreen, so this one is going to possibly leave a white residue. I know I should do mineral sunscreens, but I'm a chemical sunscreen person just because they they don't leave the white residue. It's a personal thing. I know there's negative things that go along with it, but people, there's negative things that go along with drinking sodas, and <laughs> a lot of fools be drinking that, so chill out. Um, okay, so what I like to do is, even though I have it on my face, I will let it dry for a couple of minutes um, and then I will go in and kind of repack because we're still left with like a white residue. Slight, not very much, uh, but enough to make you look like a real idiot at the pool. So I'm going to leave that on for a few minutes and then I will be back to further pat it in. Okay, so I am back. It's been about a minute or so and I'm just going to lightly pat it in. I know it seems like I'm doing it very tough. Well, maybe it doesn't look like I'm doing it tough. I try not to be too tough on my skin because, you know, gravity's already being a real bitch. I'm not going to help her out any. Okay. I will say the texture of it isn't awful, but it's probably not going to be for me. Like, it's just, it just feels too heavy. Um, like I said, not a big fan of mineral sunscreens, and this is probably why I mostly am not, is because <laughs> I look like I went to a makeup counter and someone did not give me my correct foundation color. So, texture of it, not bad. It feels like a serum, but like a heavy serum. And to me, like when you put on a serum, it's like a little bit lighter. Uh, than this, but obviously it has sunscreen in it, so it's going to be thicker because of that. Anyways, I'm just running on at this point. Um, not really a fan. It's kind of, it's got a white cast to it. There's um, a white cast. You can probably see in my eyebrows. They look ashy right now, and they are not. These girls are never ashy. They are always ready. Um, so yeah, this is, yeah, it's not going to work for me. And I haven't even done my neck, because if it can't pass the face inspection, I ain't even going to take it to my neck. But that's it. Dr. Brand's review of the sunscreen. Okay guys, I will see you next time for another skincare review. Goodbye.